One championship, Amazon Prime, August 26. Now, you got Demetrius taking on Marias. Guys, there's, there's a lot of moving parts here, and I was just with Marias. I was just with him, and it was, it was just a training situation. He was working out. I happened to be in town. I missed my flight. I go over. I, I could have watched him work out, but I mean, there, there's a couple of takeaways. First off, he's big. I mean, let me just start to you with that. I didn't put him on a scale. I didn't get out a tape measure. I don't need to. I've been doing this my whole life. I could work at the fair, right? You ever seen those things at the carnival? Step forward, I'll tell your weight within three pounds. I could do that. I have been sizing guys up since I was nine years old. But going to wrestling tournaments, kid, I don't know who's who. I'm in some different state, some different town, a bunch of people I don't recognize. I can look around the way and, and okay, that guy's going to be in my bracket and that guy. I mean, it's just one of those things. I'm telling the guy's big. He's tall. Got a few things to deal with. Now, they're calling this a rematch. Marias, one championship champion. Beat Demetrius Johnson. Finished Demetrius Johnson. Are you ever going to see a fighter like Demetrius again? I mean, ask yourself that question. And you may, but this is for sure a once-in-a-generation talent. It is the greatest talent. It is the most of the rarest talents. Are you ever going to see that talent? You might. If you live long enough, you might. But what Demetrius is doing is very rare. It was almost difficult to appreciate the brilliance early in his career. When he dropped to 125 pounds and took over the world, you could see the speed and you could see it was complete. You could see the conditioning, you could see the footwork, you could see the understanding. Like there was things you could see, but you couldn't really observe what was happening because the field, the division, wasn't yet formed and established. So we have seen people that have come in. A cup of coffee that gets in at the right time before we really know who the contenders are. I'll give you a great example with Demetrius. If you go and watch what Demetrius did to Ray Borg, he made Ray Borg, who's not just a good fighter. Ray Borg is a great fighter. He made a great fighter look bad. Demetrius dominated him. And Ray Borg, and I follow Ray's career now, possibly closer than I used to. I watched Ray go up to 135 pounds. He's too much for the 35 pounders, let alone when he gets down to 25. Ray Borg is awesome. But I didn't fully know that at the time that they fought. And all fairness was one of these things where a little bit of time had to go by. So I know who Joe Benavides is, and boy, I know who Henry Cejudo is. So you could slip a couple of those in, but as Demetrius goes on his run, he gets 12-0. and 0, He's beating guys in every possible way. He's going to decision, outpacing and outsmarting guys. That's what winning a decision is. You outcondition them and you outthink them. He's knocking guys out. He's ground and pounding guys to a TKO. He's grabbing guys' arms and stretching these limits. He's doing absolutely everything that you can do. He gets 12 straight, boom, off he goes. So when he goes over to one championship, he runs into Morais. Now, there's a lot of things here. See, I, I don't love the idea that this is a rematch. When you have a rematch, you must be able to answer one question. It doesn't matter what side you're on. It doesn't matter if you're the athlete or the trainer or the promoter himself. You must be able to answer one question. What is going to be different? Well, I feel like I have that answer. I am not confident in telling you this is a rematch. I know that historically speaking, that is the correct. I mean, if we're taking a test, I got to write down rematch. I, I don't know that I would say that. I don't think colloquially that's true. I don't think that Marias has ever fought Demetrius Johnson. I don't think Marias knows what to expect when he fights Demetrius Johnson. That is not to slide Marias. I am sharing with you the Demetrius that showed up that night. The face of a North American division and company. A character in a video game. The number one ranked fighter on earth. I mean, all these, all these things. All these different things. And all of a sudden, he's in a different time zone, in a different continent, in a ring that it's not quite what he's used to. With a crowd that has a demeanor that is something different than he's expected. If you go back historically and you look at any athlete's first time, and it's not just their first time fighting, it can be their first time in an organization. I mean, a great example would be Hector Lombard. Hector Lombard, I believe, had won 22 straight. 22 straight, and he just didn't perform well his first time in the octagon. It's as simple as that. And it wouldn't matter if he won or lost. That was not the performance that Hector had just shown us he's capable of doing. Eddie Alvarez lost his first UFC fight. It was not an outcome. 
That was not Eddie Alvarez. To the extent that he went on from being 0-1 to the world champion. To the last man to walk through the curtain the first time at Madison Square Garden, a $17.2 million gate. He went from 0-1, but that 0-1, it's, uh, you know, you got to look at it a little closer. That wasn't Eddie. Demetrius has never made an excuse. Demetrius sees this piece. He's not being crazy that I'm making an excuse for him. I'm not attempting to. There's reasons. Reasons and excuses are very fine lines. But if you're a handicapper, if you're betting, if you're going to discuss a fight, you, you've got to really understand what happened. And when you're attempting to answer the question, what's going to be different now? I have the answer. It's no longer his first time. He's not the new kid at school. It's not one of these apprehensive situations where at the time when he took on Marias, people didn't know who he was. I mean, in all fairness, they didn't know who Marias was. Like the pressure and expectations, there were so many things that were on Demetrius that are absolutely not involved in this contest. All of the intangibles, 100% of them, are now removed from this contest. So to tell me that we're doing it again, I mm, not so fast. That doesn't mean Marias isn't good enough to go deal with him again. I'm suggesting for you that Marias needs to be very aware of what I'm saying. This is not a concession that Demetrius can flip the script. It was not a concession. There was a fluke. Not even a suggestion by me of that. But if you get in a fight that turns out to be harder than you thought it was going to be, and guys, any frame of logic, if I'm going to do the same thing against the same person that I've already done, I should have a very good expectation of what I'm getting into because I've already been into it, right? I mean, that just makes sense. Marias needs to know what I'm saying is true. He needs to understand this is a different guy. The guy that I read about, the guy in the video games, the guy with all the record is not who got in the ring with me. I beat him and my dream came true. I'm going to need to be better. I'm going to need to have an expectation I'm going to hurt more. Not only physically because of things he's going to do to me, my lungs, my inside. I'm going to burn more calories. My heart rate is going to be higher. I am not just going to get to that position where I turned out to be dominant. Other things are going to happen. And, and if he can understand that, then the mental side can be captured. There's not a ton that you can do about the physical. You get in there and it's anybody's guess at that point. But mentally, boy, there sure is. And you don't know how your mind's going to react. And as long as you're prepared for the worst, right? And I'll tell you, when I saw this Marias, he is something special. So no part of this is to pull down Marias' championship. I'm just answering the question, which everybody is going to have to, what's going to be different? Why should we expect something different? Marias dominated him the first time. Why would an older Demetrius get a different outcome? Well, I feel like I've answered that question. When I saw Marias, he's very special. I feel like if you guys have watched Marias, what you know is what a great grappler and how dominant, how strong he is on the ground. I had a different experience because the day that I saw him work out, it was all stand-up. I never saw him go to the ground once. Never saw him on a mat. Never saw him anywhere except on the bottoms of his feet. Boy, he's good. I mean, he's fast. He's long. And he's big. He's very big. It was a mitt workout. When he was hitting it, it was like shotgun blast going off. I was in a corner visiting with Rich Franklin. We were mic'd up. I even brought it to you guys on YouTube. We're trying to have a conversation. We had to redo our conversation. He was interrupting it in the ring. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it was, it was this thing. And you know special power when you see it. Guys are born with that. But then you got rhythm and you got condition. You got his ability to push. I see those things in the workout room. I saw how hard he worked. I mean, this is a really interesting match. But to make believe that you're going to re-see something that you've seen before, I'm here to remind you that's not how it works. Randy Couture was given the name The Natural. And so many people thought it's because he was such a clean guy. It was because he performed well his first night. That's why they called him The Natural. Whoa, that guy's a natural. Nobody performs well on their first night. Nobody performs well on their first time in there. Vandalay Silva, another fine example, just like I gave you with Eddie Alvarez or Hector Lombard, but he came over from Pride. I mean, he'd set the world on fire, but it was first time in the octagon in years. When we returned to the UFC, it was new ownership. It was different. He's now in North America. He was used to fighting in Tokyo. I mean, there was just a lot of moving parts that were different. And it wasn't the performance. He was able to fix that and come back. Marias has found himself the right contender. And if Marias can get it done twice, come hook or crook, we will close the book. But as this fight approaches, and you want to have whatever recollections you have of their first contest, I've got to remind you 
and I will maintain until that bell rings, that was not Demetrius Johnson. 